Hello, I am Ralph Virtual. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I will talk about new tech that I found interesting. I hope you like it. Today, I will talk about Virtual Human. What is Virtual Human? Virtual Human is a creation of a human image using 3D computer graphic. Let me tell you about a brief introduction of Virtual Human. Back in 1980s, Virtual Human was created for computer visual effects in American movies. Virtual Human was used for digital doubles, where some shots cannot be performed by human actor. In these cases, the usages were subtle. With the advancement of computer technology, high-quality virtual humans have become a reality. There are more applications nowadays, and the border between physical and virtual worlds is blurred. In 2016, a virtual girl, Saya, was born in Japan. Saya was created by CG artists Teru and Yuka. The husband and wife duo work as Teluka professionally. I think it was very important that Saya joined a real-world audition model competition, Miss ID 2018. This attracted wide attention. People found it interesting that a virtual girl was participating in a real-world competition. After this, the creation of virtual humans becomes more popular. Virtual humans started their social media accounts, especially Instagram, to promote their daily lives. Among many of them, there are two popular icons. The first one is Michaela from America, and the other one is Ima from Japan. Both of them will share what they wear and eat on Instagram, just like real-world young people. Followers found the interaction was interesting. Their number of followers grew rapidly in the past two years. Some advertisers saw this as an opportunity and asked them to take part in advertising films. They now have their own music videos, YouTube programs and fashion films. Some of them have started their fashion labels as well. So why do followers like virtual humans? I think the most attractive thing is their personality. Let's take Michaela as an example. Michaela will tell the audience about her romantic story and ask their opinion to decide how she responds to her boyfriend. She also shows her political views to her followers. These help building a strong online presence, just like an online friend in real life, thus helping to attract more followers. I think Kademiko is also a great example. She started live streaming and interviewing other YouTubers on Twitch and YouTube channels since 2020. She came up with the idea while working at Nickelodeon. After being laid off due to the COVID-19 pandemic, she decided to pursue streaming full-time. She also went into debt to acquire the XN's mocap suit. She is very popular now. You may be wondering, is any example in the Chinese community? One example is Connie from Taiwan. She is a virtual cosplayer with violet hair. Another example is Hazel from Hong Kong. As you may have already seen her local bank advertisement, you can find her collaborate with a local singer on Spotify and her daily lives with other real-world KOLs on Instagram. We have already seen virtual humans participate in the advertisement, entertainment and fashion industry. With the development of computing power and internet transmission speed, I believe that there will be more realistic and interactive virtual humans very soon. Let's look forward to a future with more interesting new tech. What do you think about virtual humans? Which aspect do you want to know more about? Please feel free to drop a comment below. See you next week. Bye.